Good morning, YouTube land. Just now get to my truck this morning. I want to make you guys a quick video. Let me crank this bad boy up real quick. You know how it is when you first get to the truck. Hopefully, hopefully it cranks right up. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see. Yep, so I'm gonna have to start my APU. Truck doesn't like the cold weather. And it's sad all weekend, so I probably should have left my APU on, but it'll be alright. And turn this APU on and get everything cranked up really fast. Let this run for a minute and then it'll fire right up. Benefits of having an APU. Anyways, today's video is gonna be about the new quarter fenders. I put on. I'm gonna put my luggage in here real quick. Let me get this truck washed too. So there's not a lot of information out there. And anyways, these are the uh, the new quarter fenders that I put on. They're low mount, as you can tell. I'm gonna show you guys the the other ones. There, it's on the other side, but my original ones that i got from sap brothers were probably about four or five inches higher and basically what happened is the okay see there goes my there goes my apu you hear it so basically what happened is the trailer whenever you get this thing in an l shape or jackknife the trailer will come and hit the top of this and basically, actually no, I was I was going down, um, I was in San Francisco and I was going under a dome and the height of this place was like 13.6 and the, the concrete kind of went down. And when it went down like that, I guess like the dips, it had, my trailer had came down on top of the quarter fender and literally bent it down into the tire and completely just taking it off but they don't they don't really tell you these things like if see I brought these my, my first ones I bought them at Sap Brothers and they were high they don't they don't really tell you like anything about the length they'll just basically mount them on and you know send you down the road or whatever but if you have a Freightliner and you're hauling a 53 foot dry van highly recommend getting the low mount quarter fingers so that's what they look like. Just make sure they say low mount on these and you'll be good. So, you know, the, the ones that I had, they didn't have all these bars on them, the ones that I had before. So we're about to walk around to the other side. Let me show you guys. All right, so here's the other ones right here. These ones are bent too. So as you can see, the difference. These ones have the, the lower mount on them and then look how much. Right, let's see if we can get this camera to stay. sure it's the low mount ones because as you can see it's about the height gap right there so I'm really hoping these ones do me good and um, I won't have any problems out of them so I'll let you know 
anyways i'm gonna get on the load board i gotta book the load thanks for watching peace all right so we're back at the truck we're letting the apu run for a little bit and i'm waiting on some agents to call me back but anyways i just want to let you guys know to make sure if you're gonna get quarter fenders and you're hauling a 53 foot dry van and you have a freight liner to make sure to get the low mount quarter fenders so you don't run into any issues like i have because i have seen it a lot before with other trucks you know having bent quarter fenders or particularly freight liners but i've also heard to either get a higher fifth wheel or you know like i said get the low mount quarter fenders so anyways i'm gonna enjoy my starbucks coffee and if you guys haven't tried let's see the egg white bites with the sriracha it's good stuff so thanks for watching see you guys in the next one